Hi guys, it's Chekakoa or Matt. Anihaseyo, Matt Imnida, Chekakoa Imnida. Today, I'll be unboxing a Minion Star Wars character that charges your cell phone. So this is Kevin and the Star Wars character. I'm not too sure who it is. It says uh, Knights Old Republic. So maybe it's not a movie character. I think it looks maybe sort of like an Obi-Wan Kenobi or a Qui-Gon Jinn. But I'm not too sure. Maybe Qui-Gon Jinn. From episode 1. So this was made in China. It has Star Wars on it. On the side. On the top. The side. And it says Knights Old Republic. Which means it's a imitation. Because the real thing would be Knights of the Old Republic. It was made in China. So it's not a licensed Star Wars or Minions product. Maybe we picked it up, my cameraman picked it up for free. Thank you cameraman. So tonight we're going to be opening it up. On the back, it's basically charges your iPad, your cell phone, your tablet, everything. So it just says what it charges. Made in China. So we'll open her up. So open. Open her up, cameraman. So in the box, there's nothing left. In, so the box, just a blank box, nothing in there. Make some Chinese dust. Okay, and so in here we got a lightsaber, which doesn't look too much like a lightsaber. It looks more like a samurai sword or a kung fu knife. Then we got the Kevin figure. And a charging port. So the charging port for your Android device, no Apple, it's Android, micro USB. And then so here we got Kevin. His arms open, I feel. His arms open and turn. So you can stick the blade in there. Let's try. The blade is soft, his hands are kind of soft. Ah, there you go. Very strangey. So the blade goes like that, and it. So we got Kevin there holding the lightsaber. After I'm not sure which character, Qui Gon Jinn or not Obi Wan. I don't think it's Obi Wan. Not sure. If anyone knows out there, tell me which character this is. I'd be glad to know which character. So on the front, you got the minion with the Star Wars rope. On the back, you got your in and out. So you're in, so you're plugged in to charge, and you're out for the charger cell phone. Bottom, it's feet. The lightsaber won't stay in there. Maybe we'll try this hand. Oh, this hand, a little better. This hand fits a little better. But it's kind of awkward that the lightsaber goes into the body. It'd be like that. No. Oh. So if Kevin did that, he'd be dead. So yeah, so it's pretty neat, I guess. So Minions and Star Wars Fusion, pretty cool. On top, it has a thing so you can hold with a keychain or put a key ring through there. But it looks like this one is actually blocked off, so you'd have to poke something. The hair, little hair, the glasses. Basically though, there's no on-off switch though. There's no on-off switch, so once you, I'm not even too sure what happens if you charge it, what it will do. It doesn't look like there's any light or anything. Maybe we can try with the cell phone. We'll try with this cell phone. See, so there, you got the out. Plug that in there. And we'll see if it has any juice. No juice. Oh, oh, it is. Oh, it is. Oh, so the light. I guess you can see. Maybe, maybe you can't see. There's a little blue light that lights up in there. Can you see that? So there's a little blue light in there. The front. No light. No light on the cape. No light on the eyes. So just a little blue light in the back there that lights up. So I guess it's kind of a little neat figure to charge your like iPhone or iPad if you like Minions and Star Wars. The Fusion's kind of cool. So I'd say I'll maybe use it for a while if it works. 
So thank you guys for watching my video. Like and subscribe if you like my videos. Check the cola out. Love you guys.